Hello everyone and welcome to another Teacher Time with Kelsey. Today is our artist spotlight, so I will be sharing a brand new artist with you all. And it is actually going to be one of my favorite artists that I'm going to be sharing today. So this artist is one that I always am so fascinated by the paintings that he's done and they're paintings that really make me think and really inspire me. So I'm hoping that that will do the same for you. So why don't you grab your favorite drink, get into your cozy spot, and I will introduce you to our artist of the day, Salvador Dali. Now that you've seen some of Salvador Dali's work, I want to tell you just a little bit about him. He grew up painting at a very young age, and he always knew that he wanted to be an artist. He oftentimes, when he was at school, would tell people that he was going to grow up and be a famous artist, and that he was an artistic genius. So he had a lot of confidence in the work that he did, and he was always really proud to share his art with different people. And as he got a little bit older, he moved to Paris, where there was a art movement happening called Surrealism. So Surrealism was a type of art movement that focused on really getting in touch with your dreams and the more creative ideas that were in your mind. So painters who were part of that movement really embraced the imagination that they had and the unique ideas. And a lot of the times their paintings were really interesting and really different than anything people had seen before. And they were really creative too. So Salvador Dali felt like he fit right in in that group of artists. And he really found his own techniques and stuff in there. And a lot of the work that he did focused on specifically exploring his dreams and his inner mind. So the ideas and things that he had in his head. And what Salvador Dali would do that was really interesting was that he wouldn't just take an idea and paint it. A lot of times he would take an idea and he would turn it into something that was really different than what you might imagine. So he really wasn't afraid to make things that seemed kind of weird or kind of silly, and that was actually the type of work that he loved the most. So some of you might have even seen in the pictures that I shared, sometimes he would do things like he would create a clock and it would be melting, or he would create these huge scenes that didn't really fit into the little place that he was creating them. Or he might put butterfly wings on a boat as a sail. And he would just do all these things that didn't seem like they fit together, but he would kind of combine them into his paintings and create these really beautiful stories and works of art that really represented the different and unique ideas that he had in his mind. So that was something that was really cool and I think something that really speaks to, to the type of artwork that we tend to do at Little Owl. So we really like you to get creative and like you to explore your own ideas and to not be afraid to put them down on a canvas or a paper no matter how funny or different they might be. So today that is actually what we are going to do. So we're going to take a little note from Salvador Dali's handbook and we will be exploring our inner minds a little bit by doing something called a dream journey. So we're going to close our eyes and we're going to really dive deep into the back of our brains and pull out some ideas. And they could be any ideas you want, it doesn't matter. This is a chance for you to get as creative as you can and to put whatever pops out of your brain onto the paper. So this will be fun. I'll kind of explain more as we go through the process, but 
hopefully you just get a chance to really explore your imagination and get creative. So I will let you know what some of the materials that you'll need are going to be and then we can get started. So if you decide that you would like to try painting for this project, what you'll need is a paper that can hold paint, so something that might be a little bit thicker, some paint brushes, a jar with water and a paper towel to clean those brushes, and then whatever paint colors you want. Right here I just have my bottles of paint, but I would suggest mixing your paint colors that you need, or whatever palette you decide, and having it just ready in jars nearby. If you decide to draw your ideas instead, you really just need a paper and drawing materials. You can use whatever drawing materials you have at home, like colored pencils, markers, pastels. I actually decided to go with the drawing option and will be using chalk pastels since I have a lot of fun with those. Once you have all your materials, you can get started. The way that we're going to start this dream journey is by pausing for a moment and trying to remember some of the things that we see when we dream, or just some of the things that you see in your imagination. It could be places, it could be things. I know when I dream, a lot of times I go to different places. So that's kind of what I used as my inspiration for my work. Remember, anything that you find in your imagination or in your dreams as you're really searching your brain can be put onto your paper. You can draw it or paint it on there, and it can look any way that you want it to, even if it seems a little bit silly to you. It may help you every now and then to pause for a moment and take a step back from your work just to see if any other ideas come to you. I usually suggest that if you're looking for certain ideas, you can close your eyes and really try to imagine what you find inside your mind or inside your dreams. After pausing and closing my eyes for a moment, I got an idea to put a doorway from the scene that I was imagining into another place that I often visit in my dreams. So I created a little doorway in my picture that would take me to space. As you work, you may find some creative things that you can add to your picture as well. Maybe you'll even take some ideas from different dreams you've had and combine them into one big scene, just like Dolly did. Once you feel finished adding your drawings and paintings, take a step back and look at your canvas. What you see is a picture that holds all the ideas from your mind at that moment in time. What did you discover on your journey? And that was our Salvador Dali inspired art experience. So I hope that with your artwork, whether it was painting or drawing, you really got to express some of those ideas that you found in your mind and hopefully you were able to create just a fun picture for yourself too that really captured your imagination. I know that when I look at Dolly's paintings, I always feel really excited by the ideas he has and it makes me think of a lot of new creative ways that I can paint or draw things. So I. I'm excited that I got a chance to share that and pass that on to you all. Thank you so much for joining me today at our Teacher Time with Kelsey, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!